नमस्कार वी ऑल आर अवेयर डेट टू कंटेन द स्प्रेड ऑफ कोरोना वायरस द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज एक्सटेंडेड द लॉकडाउन पीरियड टू थर्ड ऑफ मे 2020 नाउ ड्यूरिंग दिस पीरियड देयर हैज बीन अ डिमांड फ्रॉम द वेरियस बार एसोसिएशन ऑफ द कंट्री टू द ऑनरेबल सुप्रीम कोर्ट दैट सर्टेन मैटर्स और केसेस व्हिच आर ऑफ एक्सट्रीम अर्जेंसी शुड बी टेकन अप बाय द कोर्ट थ्रू वीडियो कॉन्फ्रेंसिंग एंड today's my video presentation will be dealing with the effective ways as to how a video presentation or a video uh, presentation of a case can be done from the confines of your office or from your home since uh, video con uh, conferencing will be a court proceedings uh, uh, there has uh, there has been some stipulations made by the court is that you can't record it you you can't circulate it in the social media because photography and videography of court proceedings are banned so far india is concerned of course now there has been a persistent demand that all uh, that live streaming of the court proceedings should also be shown to the people just like the parliament or the assembly in the state now uh, during lockdown period uh when you do uh, video conferencing from the home uh it is not very easy to find a secluded space you will have your children running in the household or there, there may not be sufficient uh space in the home to have a quiet place but uh, those lawyers who have a uh, chamber of their own attached with their houses or uh, lawyers who have a, a quiet place in their home they they can select that place and inform the family members that uh, he will be uh, that he will be doing a video conferencing with the judge of the court so nobody should disturb him during that video conf uh, conferencing uh, time so uh, the first criteria uh, which we should test before we start the video conferencing is that uh, the speed of the internet the internet speed is uh, important for uh, because if the uploading speed is slow the audio video there may be distortions and disruptions so the first criteria has to be is to test the internet speed and so far the supreme court is concerned the internet speed has been fixed at 2 mbps but uh, so minimum and so far the guwahati high court is concerned it has been fixed at 5 mbps uh, uh, internet speed Uh, to test the internet uh, speed in the laptop the, there is a uh, site called speed test you can now just click on go to test the internet speed first we'll test the uh, uh, download speed since i'm using a wifi connection uh uh the download speed uh is now being shown at 29.25 uh, uh, mbps uh which which is uh, uh which is sometimes available even in the uh, mobile now the most important speed is the upload speed because the upload speed so far the supreme court is concerned it is fixed at minimum 2 and high court guwahati high court has fixed it 5 but uh, i have a very good internet upload speed it is 14.25 uh, so far video conferencing by the lawyer is concerned uh, since we, it is a video conferencing with the court the dress is is to be considered very important because we can't wear something which we wear at home and uh, present ourselves before the honorable judges since they will be showing the upper part the upper part should be formally uh, you should dress up if you, if if you are comfortable with coat and tie you can wear a uh, coat and tie or you can wear even your advocate dress the the preference is yours the next point which we should uh, remember uh, during video conferencing is the background the background should be neutral color like black white or uh, gray uh, it should not be too colorful or pattern uh, and there are some apps where uh, if the, the background is green you can change it to virtual background and you can give an appropriate uh, background uh, so that the your background looks dignified during video conferencing if the background is black uh, and there is no any distraction it is always uh, better to communicate uh, with the uh, judge the headspace 
should be minimum. That means uh, the camera should cover the minimum of the uh, headroom and you should keep in mind that there is sufficient distance between you and the background so that uh, the background doesn't look shabby in the video. The other background which you can use is uh, white. Now, now I'm uh, using a, a white background. The white background can also be used. But uh, when you use a white background, uh, please take care to see that you are wearing something contrast. While doing video uh, conferencing, a lawyer should keep in mind uh, that the camera should be in a stable position. And the only way to keep the camera stable, whether it's in a mobile or in a webcam, is to use a mini tripod. Now there are different types of uh, tripod available in the market. Now this is one tripod uh, where you can see that a mobile is uh, fixed and it is giving a horizontal uh, view of uh, view. Now uh, so far uh, Facebook and all live streaming is concerned it will always have a vertical uh, view. So first get it confirmed from the, the concern code whether the video is on the horizontal or vertical or square format. Now if it is a vertical you can just uh, turn this knob and make it uh, 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 vertical. There is another tripod which, which you, if you can use it for uh, uh, horizontal uh, videography. There is one slot available for a mini light. Uh, to record a good video is to use a, uh, um, a webcam. This is a Logitech webcam and it has a, got a USB port. You can connect it with the uh, computer. Since you are presenting a, your uh, case, you should look best in the uh, video. So I will always advise to put the camera just above the eye level and it's slightly pointing uh, down towards you instead of pointing it uh, to your nostrils. Now, once you have downloaded the uh, video app uh, given by the code uh, in your mobile or laptop, uh, suppose you don't have any of the tripod which I have just shown you to you, then you can use your laptop uh, also to do video conferencing with the code. Uh, now, since the laptop will be uh, height will be below your uh, chin level, so you have to raise the high, you can raise the level of the laptop by putting some books and you can turn the skin a little bit inside so that. Uh, you show the, uh, uh, your face profile and this half of your body. If you do the laptop screen like this, then it will show you the ceiling on the back. So the best way is to raise the level of the uh, laptop and you turn it slightly downwards so that it shows it directly. While talking to the, uh, uh, to the, uh, the judge uh, through video conference, you should see that, the, that you should not go and look into the camera like this. You should maintain a certain distance so that it becomes interactive. Once you have finished your talking, you, you can put your sound to mute. Now, suppose once you put the sound to the mute, you hear the judge's query, you hear the other side uh, argument in the in your screen because in the uh, app, there will be a virtual room where you have you can see the other party arguing, the interaction of the judge with the other party and you have to wait for your turn. If you want to interrupt uh, or if you want to uh, uh, submit something, once the other party is complete, you can interrupt by raising your hand, which uh, all of you have seen it in the TV when a person wants to say something on the TV debate and discussion, he will raise your hand. There will be a time limit fix uh, for your argument because you can't go on arguing for a long stress in a uh, video conferencing. There has to be a time limit. Once you know the time limit, you have to mentally prepare it in your mind that within this time limit, I will um, complete my oral submission in the video conferencing. Now let me talk about the uh, lighting in a video conferencing. You can have single light, you can have two lights, you can have three lights, uh, there are different setup you can use. I will show you some example of the light uh, which are readily available in the market. One is this video light which you normally see in the marriage function where a white umbrella is put. But the disadvantage of this light is that it is very bright and it's too hot. It's not very comfortable. Also you will find uh, so far, uh, video conferencing is concerned. You can put this light uh, in in front of you, but this light is little harsh. Okay, so it, it is it, it is very harsh. If you see, if you put in my face, uh, it doesn't look uh, good. You can't hold. You can put it in a uh, stand. Uh, you can put it in a stand. Um, 
you can put it in a stand and raise it and so now say for example you can do it but this light also is not uh, uh, very appropriate for uh, video conference look con continuously to, uh, to the light it has a blinding effect so since I, I i'll be sitting on the on the other side and you will see in my background the light remember the bigger is the source of the light the softer the light will be on your face and it looks very uh, nice when you put a bigger source of light on your face or if it is during daytime you you can do is that suppose the window is this side you can face the window and the light coming from the window can uh, 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 can naturally light you up uh, the uh, most important point in a video conferencing is the quality of the audio there are many options uh, available in the market for uh, if you do uh, video conferencing with the mobile. The main uh, disadvantage in the mobile is that uh, the single port is used for audio as well as uh, for uh, hearing. I prefer to use a uh, uh, jack uh, which has uh, two points if you, uh, if you put it uh, in the mobile. Here you can fix your audio as well as video uh, cable and you can put it in a stand so that it, it is, uh, it can, uh, you don't have to, you can maintain a certain uh, distance. Uh, to use a uh, microphone which is cordless, we can, which I can connect with, uh, with my camera and uh, that is how I do it. The uh, camera which I use for uh, video conferencing is sometimes I use the, my Samsung S10 Plus uh, ca ca mobile camera. Sometimes I use the, my iPhone for Skype video conferencing. Sometimes I use a DSLR. But while using a DSLR, people who are used to having DSLR at home, uh, they should keep in mind, they should use always a wide zoom for uh, video conferencing. You should not use a, a bigger lens like this because this is not the right lens for the uh, uh, video conference. Uh, Canon mirrorless camera, I use a wide angle lens which is very appropriate. The resolution quality is very nice. And we have a audio mixer at the top uh, which, uh, which gives very high quality sound for any uh, video presentations and the battery life is also long so I normally prefer using this I connect it with the laptop and in the laptop there is a software called OBS with the OBS I connect it with the, uh, any platform that is used for video conferencing sky Facebook live streaming or any Instagram live stream I prefer uh, using this camera for live streaming and I uh, if I want to record audio outside I just uh, clip on my uh, uh, headphone here I can have two headphone for uh, sorry two uh, microphone this way uh, so uh, audio quality we should pay maximum attention because distortion will uh, in audio will uh, lose the communication with the code the last uh, important point which one should um, uh, keep in mind while doing a video, video presentation is that they should be formal in the way they uh, submit to the uh, judges. Their dresses and, uh, should be uh, formal. They should look like an officer of the court. And with this, I take your leave. Uh, Jai Hind. Namaskar.